please welcome Sofia Botella. Welcome. Thank you so much for making it. Hello, thank Hello. you so much for dashing over here. Of course. Okay. Thanks for having me. Ugh. Ugh. Just walked across the lot. Take a, take a breath, relax, unwind. And a rousing applause for Sofia Botella making it. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Deep breath. Now, can we just get to the questions? That would be kind of fun. Sure, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, you guys got questions? Raise your hands. Let's make this happen. And once again, thanks for making it. Thank you for having me. Hello. If Amanet could interact with another universal monster, who would that be? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Let's make it, I don't know, Amanet and Batman. Not a monster universe. You mean a superhero? Not a monster. Frankenstein would be nice, <laughs> but I like him a lot. Yeah. The monster. <laughs> right, here's a question. Hi, um, for your Star Trek role, was it a standard audition, or was there some other story about how you got that part? No, a standard audition. Standard audition and then screen test. Two auditions and a screen test. Okay. I was at Universal recently, and they have this thing at the uh, horror makeup show about you and how long it took for the makeup to be put on you. Is that true? Oh, yeah. That was four hours. The was mummy it, was seven. Was there very much experimentation, or they kind of knew what they wanted with the mummy makeup? No, they were kind of specific. You know, they, I, I got there on, on the day of my, of my screen test. They had already the picture of what they wanted. Yeah. And I have a quick question. Um, I read that like when you first started out in acting, you wanted only supporting roles so you could learn from other actors. What other actors did you learn from and what did you learn? I feel like I've been very blessed with the experience that I've had and the people and the actors that I've worked with. And, um, you know, Charlize was incredible. Tom Cruise was amazing to work with. Jodie Foster. Uh, Nicolas Cage. I've, I've been very blessed with the people I've been working with. Great. And next question. If you could talk a little more into the microphone so they can hear you in the back, that'd be awesome. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so in um, Star Trek Beyond, you spend quite a bit of time with alone with Simon Pegg. He seems like one of the just funniest, most charming people to be around. What was that experience like? I know, you know, your character does eventually group up with everybody else, but you have a lot of scenes with him, and I'd imagine, like, there's some funny memories associated with that. What was that like? Yeah, absolutely. I owe this experience to Simon. He wrote the character. He wrote the, that script, obviously, but um, aside from being on the screen, we developed a, re a real strong friendship. He's been incredible, and during filming and after, and he remains a really good friend, and we were very, very close during that shoot, yeah. Question right down the middle. Have you gotten a role that you were really pleased to get with, or have you a role that you really want to get in the future? Ooh, um, I, I, truthfully, I've been very lucky with all the projects that I've done. I love every single one of them. No regrets, they all have been very um, bright experiences for me that, that I've learned from, that I grew from and with. And what I would like to do, I think, I, I kind of, I tend not to project myself too much into what I want. I take it a project at a time and to me, it has to do with what I'm reading, the script, the story, the relationships in, in, in what I'm reading in the material, but it's usually all on the page. Let's get a question here. You're doing great, by the way. Thanks for knocking these out so quick. Um, another Star Trek Beyond question. I know there's been a lot of talk about a potential Star Trek four. Is Jayla a character you would like to reprise? And if so, is there something specific you'd like to see that character get to do? I, I, I would love to see her evolve with all of the guys, you know, and with everybody. And uh, to see, I don't know, I, I would love to go back to her. I love her a lot. And uh, I've, I've enjoyed that experience so much. I would do it in a heartbeat. I don't know if they're making a fourth one. I've, I hear things all the time, but I don't know what's happening. We're going to hit a question on that side of the room, please. Hi. Uh, who inspired you to uh, get into Hollywood, and what did you buy with your first paycheck? What's the second question? <laughs> uh, what did you buy with your... 
<laughs> oh, um, I think I think I uh, with my first paycheck as an actor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I cannot remember specifically. I think I just saved my money. <laughs> but um, I, I, I started as a dancer, and I started acting when I was in Paris. When I was 17, I did an audition, and they wanted the, 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 the lead actor, they, they needed his girlfriend to be a dancer, so they cast me for it, and I kept studying. But then in Hollywood, I moved to LA when I was 22, and I really wanted to do theater. So I joined a theater called ACT. My teacher was Arthur Mendoza, and he taught Stella Adler. And I was at the theater for like about 21, 22 until 30. And I, yeah, I studied a lot, and I got my first role in Hollywood, I think. It, it, was, it was Kingsman when I was 30. <laughs> Down front again on that side of the room. Yeah, so my question is actually for Edgar from Puerto Rico. Uh, Hi. Kingsman, uh, the Gazelle character. Yeah. What was the most challenging part of playing it with, you know, I, I think it was a green screen or whatever, right? Uh, the the uh, blades? Yeah, we tried to make it real blades, but we couldn't. So it was green leggings. They're very charming. <laughs> um, the most challenging part, I think, was just because I was intimidated, you know, by the world. It, it's like you said, you know, it's Hollywood, and it was all of a sudden a different scale than what I was used to. And it was just, I think, I learned a lot during that shoot, you know, the the mechanism, the, the mechanics of being on set, you know, the, the how it works, you know, shooting, you know, two shots, a single, close ups, and all that. I've learned it at that pace and at that level with this film. So I think, I mean, and then, you know, of course, I've never done stunt before, and that was my first time doing stunts, but I think what helped me, what, what actually helped me was my background as a dancer. But, yeah, I, I learned tremendously during that movie. But Sam was incredible to work with. He helped me out throughout that shoot. Did you have much problem transitioning from theater to film? From theater to film? No, no not at all. No, no, no. We were training also to be on camera, so... It was helpful. Let's go down there. Hi. I was just wondering what your, who your influences are as a dancer uh, and like sort of what dance are you most fond of doing? I started with ballet and I did contemporary jazz, hip hop. I did salsa also at some point. When I was younger, I was really inspired by Bob Fosse's film oh. and his work. I love Chicago and I loved also The Little Prince because I was a big fan of The Little Prince when I was a kid and um, seeing Bob Fosse do, you know, play the snake in The Little Prince and the way he moved was really inspiring to me and then I was a, a big fan of Michael Jackson and how he moved and how he danced and seeing his inspiration from Bob Fosse. When you see and you study Bob Fosse, you understand how Michael moves because he was really inspired by him. I... Um, Yeah, so many people, Frank Sinatra, Bob Fosse, and um, I can't, why am I not having the names in my head right now? But dancing in general, like going from ballet to the Bol Choi shows and to, to Michael Jackson, all across. We have a question right down the middle. Uh, in the final fight scene of The Kingsman, how much of the uh, stunts were you and Eggsy going at it? It, I, I did all of them except for, I don't tumble, it's a bit, it's hard for me to tumble, but uh, I, I, did all, I do all my stunts most of the time, unless it's too dangerous and I haven't had time to practice it, but yeah. Okay, get a few more questions in. Oh, of course, right back here. Head on back, come on up, stand up. Hello again. Hi. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask a question about um, Atomic Blonde. Uh, whenever you and uh, Lorraine, I guess you were about to reveal something to Lorraine before she told you to be quiet and she turned the radio up. And I don't think I ever got what exactly did you were, what you said to her, what you were at least going to say to her. Can you reveal exactly what the, the deal was with that? I have no idea. 
It's uh, if not because I know I have OCD and I'm very meticulous when I work on a project and I, I, I like to know my, my story, my script and my character backwards. I think I shot that film, would it be like six or seven years ago now? And that's, I hope, that's the reason why I don't know. <laughs> okay, we've got another one right here. I was just wondering, did the crew have a bet on how many times uh, Samuel Jackson was going to say MF during the set. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, <laughs> we didn't have a bet going, but he was for sure incredible to work with. I was just with him in New York. I went to see his play, the play, piano lesson. But he, yeah, he was, he was great. He ushered me through that process also. He was really, really helpful and kind and generous. Okay, want to get a few more in? You answered everything. Wow. Nope, not yet. <laughs> okay. Sure thing. Is there something you were looking forward to maybe produce one day, some sort of projects in the back of your mind and saying, well, I would love to want to get the money together to actually produce that? Yeah, good question. I, I actually, I'm inspired by so many stories that are in my head that I'd like to get to at some point. But the same way that I haven't taken lead role for a long time, because I, I, I think that there is, I mean, I mean, at least for me, that's how I see it. There was a sequence of order and th that, that, that I needed to do things in. I didn't want to play any, any, any lead role because I really wanted to be part of a project that, that included people that had experience and that I could learn from. And I wanted to take my time and that was really important to me. I just took my first lead role uh, that I just wrapped a week ago. And, and I think I will get to that place that I have, yeah, I'm inspired by, by a few things and I'd love to make them happen at some point for sure. Thank you. Question right over here. Can you talk about um, Zack Snyder's new movie, uh, Rebel Moon? Tricky question. Like I said, I just wrapped, so um, we're not supposed to say anything. I was, I was talking with a few people earlier, and I don't even know if my character's name has been released. Wow. If somebody knows, tell me, so I know it's out there. But, <laughs> and I'll say it if it's the right one, but a few people told me the wrong one, so I can't have to say no. <laughs> uh, he is incredible. I would work with him again in a heartbeat. He is incredibly talented. He's a genius, and he's very consistent and kind, and he made this experience a dream. We just wrapped 152 days of filming. Wow. We started filming in March, and I started training for it in my stunts in January, but I've been working on it since about maybe 15 months. I mean, I just wrapped. So, but it, it, by far one of my favorite experience. I can't wait to see what we did. Do you incorporate any of your dance abilities into doing stunts? I think just the way I approach it is the ability that I gained from dancing mm -hmm. and the way I see it, the, the way I structured and the way I, uh, I suppose my discipline comes all from dancing. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it, it really does help. And we have a question right down here, and then we're gonna wrap up with another question after this, if there is one. You're gonna be headed back to the hotel to sign, or are you on break, photo op? I have no idea. Good. <laughs> How was your interaction with Tom Cruise on and off the sets during the movies? He's the best. I've never seen anyone work as hard as this, as this person. He's incredible. I learned, again, so blessed to have worked with him. He, he knows what he's doing and he cares so much. He loves movie making and movies and the people he work with so much. And um, same, I would work with him again. Yeah. And final question here. Uh, hi, um, I understand you're from Morocco originally, and I was wondering, right, and I was wondering if you go back often or if there's anything about Moroccan culture that you bring into your work, maybe especially in The Mummy, maybe more than Star Trek. <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm Algerian. Algeria. It's okay. It's like we're, we're neighbors. Um, Morocco just won, by the way. <laughs> I'm happy for them. But... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I bring my, my background, my culture. Yeah, I, I was born in Algeria and I lived there until I was 10 years old. I moved to France, then I moved to LA when I was 21. But um, I, I don't know, I think it's in, it's in me, you know, regardless. I haven't, 
I, I suppose I, I just played a character in Cabinet of Curiosity in an episode called The Viewing. My character is somewhere from the Middle East. Doctor we don't know where. And I think I brought a bit of that in my character. Uh, in The Mummy, no. Because I think it's a bit different. Ancient Egypt is not completely similar to the Algerian culture these days. Um, but I haven't gone back in a long time, in about 10 years now. I would love to. And I have one final question. What was it like working with Gerald Del Toro? Uh, you know, I, he's incredible. I just, I was, we, we, I was just in New York at the MoMA uh, honoring him. He just got honored for his, his work. I went to see Pinocchio um, two weeks ago, which is great. And, um, he, you know, he put together the team. He hired and chose, you know, he curated the, the directors. I uh, didn't get to work with him directly on that project, but we developed a friendship and we've been talking. He loved the episode a lot and I would love to work with him one day. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for making You're the welcome. mad dash thank over here, making Bye. this happen. Thank you. Give it thank up. You. Sophia Batella. Hi, this is Aaron Ashmore, and you are watching Phantom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe like, like now. Oh, and have fun and follow your fandom.